Can you stop singing, please? Code. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. It is noon. I've already had kind of a busy day this morning. I went to the post office, dropped off some Poshmark orders, I went to the chiropractor, I picked up a package. It's been great. Cody made me breakfast, had some coffee, did some emails. And now I kind of want to put on makeup, so that's what I'm going to do. I have these tinted moisturizers from Laura Mercier that I got a couple weeks ago. I've only tried it once and I didn't totally love it, so I'm going to try it again. Why are you making so much noise? Clearly my self tan is kind of coming off on my neck, but I'm not going to fix it because I have more dance shows this weekend. So I will tan on Thursday, so I'm ready by Friday. Maybe this color will be fine. I also braided my hair, which I haven't done in a really long time. I think I might take it out and like curl some pieces. Although I didn't braid it when it was wet, so I'm hoping it has somewhat of a curl. Let's see if this color will be okay. Eh, it should be okay. Let's try it out. Also very exciting, I got my second vaccine yesterday and I got Pfizer again, which is good because that's the one I wanted. I didn't super want to mix. Glad that's done. So in two weeks I will be fully vaccinated, which is very exciting. I didn't cry this time, which is great. <laughs> As for symptoms, my arm pretty much hurt instantly when I got it done. I don't know if it was because she didn't give me like a one, two, three when she stabbed me or like what it was. Um, but it definitely hurt right away. And then yesterday, like evening, I got it around noon yesterday, so 24 hours ago, I was super, super tired. I tried to have a nap, but it just like, it didn't really work. And so just kind of rested. And then I went to dance last night and my arm was just kind of sore, a little bit tired, but overall not too, too bad. Those are pretty much the only symptoms I've had. It's like a little bit of tiredness. So I just went to bed early last night and then my arm is pretty sore today. At the chiropractor, I just didn't like move it too much. This like tinted moisturizer is very glowy and like pretty low to medium coverage. Might layer up on my chin there. Just using the Benefit Gimme Brow. I like reopened one of these and I forgot how much I love it. It's such a good summer brow product. Kind of makes my brows a little messy. So I'm going in with the 24 hour brow setter. Fluff it up. I don't want to do too much makeup today just because I do have dance tonight along with every other night this week. So I'm still wearing a mask in class and I don't wanna do too much. Although after this weekend of wearing stage makeup, and if you're new here, you don't know what I use for stage makeup, I use Dermablend and it is like very, very, very high coverage. This primer you use before is like glue. And normally I break out after shows from wearing a bunch of like face makeup for a few days and also wearing a mask in between numbers and stuff. But my skin has been really good. Fingers crossed, knock on wood, but I'm like really impressed and like really happy about that. So that's great. Um, I think I'm gonna do, I know I don't wanna do too, too much when it comes to makeup today. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of cream contour. If I can find my brush here. This is the NARS one. Just something subtle and summery, you know? For blush. Let's do this bite beauty one. We'll do this one, Melon and Mojito. It's a more corally one. While I was away in Kelowna, I did actually repurchase an eyeliner. This one is the L'Oreal Flash Cat Eye by Infallible. I think this is my old one. This is definitely my new one. And it is such a good eyeliner from the drugstore. I like very rarely find eyeliners that like make it into my collection, let alone I invite them in for a second time. Um, so the first one I was gifted, but then I did purchase this and it is so cool because this part comes off. I've never used this, but this is like a little guide that you can use to like make a wing. Very interesting, took me a really long time to figure that out. But if you like are looking for some help on how to like make a wing, then that's kind of a cool little feature if I could put it back in though. The tip on this is super precise, making it really easy to create a wing if it'll show you. There we go. All right, makeup is pretty much done. I just need to wait for my lashes to dry so I can curl them again. I'm gonna go in with a lip gloss because it's been a minute since I wore lip gloss. And I like this one a lot. Another product I recently tried is the L'Oreal Sublime Bronze Self Tanning Facial Drops. This is not sponsored, I was sent these. And I love a good face drop, face tanning drop. And I have the Isle of Paradise. I've tried Tan Lux, didn't love them as much as Isle of Paradise. But this is a drugstore, so that's really great. I have tried their bronzing like mousse self tanning. I will get it. 
they did include this in the package. So this is a drugstore self tanner, which is amazing. It smells really good. It works really well. It gets you quite dark. It doesn't have the lasting power that Loving Tan does, but it's a really great option. So I'm a big fan of this also because it goes on clear. It doesn't stain your sheets and stuff. And like I said, it smells good. So anyway, they added this to the collection and you're supposed to add five to 10 drops to your moisturizer and then let that sit and then your face will be nice and glowy. I used it for the past two nights. No allergic reaction, nothing, no breakouts. And the first night I noticed a pretty decent glow. I think I used probably about four drops. And then last night, I think I used about six to kind of like build it up. And I really like it. It wasn't patchy. It was really even and it wasn't super intense. I don't think there's like a light, medium or dark when it comes to these. I think it solely depends on how many drops you use, but so far so good. I really like the glow that I woke up with yesterday and today. And it's something that seems really light that you can add into your moisturizer pretty much every single day. But yeah, so far so good. And I do love that it's drugstore. So that's that. I do have a clothing haul to share with you guys, so I think I'll get into that now. So everything is from Pretty Little Thing. I was sent these items. However, this video is not sponsored, so they just gifted them to me. And I think I did a pretty good job of picking out some colorful things, some fun things for summer, maybe things that are outside of my comfort zone. First one is not, it's a t-shirt, but I absolutely love their t-shirts there. I have a few that I wear all the time and I have been wearing since I purchased them, I think last summer. And this is in a large, although I would size up if you want it to be a bit more oversized because this is definitely a bit more fitted, but it just says Vermont and it's a really nice material. Like this is a nice quality t-shirt. It's a little on the thicker side, definitely feels like something you'd find at a thrift store. And I just, I love the color of it. And it's definitely something I'm going to wear when I'm at the lake this summer. I know, just a cute color. Next item I got was this white dress, which I think I could have sized down in. I got this in a US 6 and it's kind of oversized, but it's really nice. It's like a, I don't know, like a slip dress, not a slip dress, like a, it looks like a bathing suit cover up, but you can wear it going out if that makes sense so kind of hard to show hopefully you guys can see in a little try on clip here a really great length long sleeves and it has this cool like twist detail in the back so i really like that and it's just yeah a nice thing to throw over your bathing suit at the beach or like i said you can wear it out for dinner too which is great sorry i just adjusted the camera to be more comfortable sitting on the ground the next item is something i saw right away i think it's probably the first thing i picked out because i have been loving pink with my brunette hair so i got this super cute pink corset very hot pink and it is sheer so it's just mesh so i'm gonna have to figure out something for the nips but it is so cute on the boob holes boob cups are a little bit on the smaller side so if you were bigger chested i maybe don't suggest something like this but it is so cute on and you can wear this like with jeans jean shorts a skirt i'm very excited to wear this out and i'm just i love it so much <laughs> This mixes me out and he clearly likes it too. Before I get into the crazy thing, I'll show you the pair of shoes I picked out, which I actually don't think I picked these out. I think they sent me different ones, but I'm not complaining because these are really cute. I just don't think they're the ones I originally chose, but they are in my size, so that's a win. So this is what they look like. They're kind of like a woven little square toed mule, which is really cute. I wanted something mule-ish, but it has like these little straps that kind of go up the ankle, reminds me of point shoes and having to like twist things back and forth and they're a nice cream color yeah no complaints they're super cute i like the height of the heel as well and i just really like the color so they're gonna go with a lot they're also my first square toed shoe so that's gonna take some getting used to but they're cute i just remembered one of the things is drying on the drying rack so let me get that this is soaking wet because it literally just came out of the wash but it's this nice kind of lower front sports bra it definitely has a lot of cleavage and if you have bigger boobs it may not work for you but i really like it and i'm really impressed with the quality of this i haven't tried any other like active wear from pretty little thing and i'm very impressed with this and yeah i really like the color of it all right the last thing is kind of like a bathing suit set and i'm very much stuck in my ways of like my high-waisted neutral colors kind of just really simple bathing suits. That's what I've been gravitating towards for the past couple of years. But I saw this and I was like, you know what? I've seen so many girls rock amazing bathing suits on Instagram and I wanna try it because I think it might flatter my body because I haven't tried a basic bikini like this in years. And so I wanted to give it a try and this one was really cute and the color and the print is just like so wild. So these are the bottoms. I got them in a US 6 and I feel like I possibly could have sized down but also I'm just like not used to wearing these type of bottoms they feel bunchy but i feel like that's almost like the point of them and i do like that the straps are adjustable on the side so i can hike them up quite a bit 
I was also a little bit worried that they wouldn't have that much coverage, but they actually do. So those are the bottoms. And the top I also got in a US 6, and I feel like the triangles and the padding are a little bit small for the boobs, but when I tried it on, I actually really liked it. I feel like it obviously shows a lot more than I'm probably used to, but I think it's really cute, and I've seen so many people style these in various ways. I know none of those, so I'll have to like watch a video or something, but again, both adjustable, so it's really nice. And then the fun part about this is that there was a matching little cover-up shirt. I showed this to Cody and he's like, oh my god, what is that? <laughs> and it's so cute! It's a perfect length, it has long sleeves, and it honestly looks so cute with the bathing suit. And again, it's just like so not something I would normally pick out, but I absolutely love it. Of course, you could wear this on its own as like a fun dress or over another bathing suit, but I just, I love a good matching set. So yeah, that's that set. I think it's so fun and yeah, huge thank you pretty little thing for sending me these items because it was a fun little refresh for my summer wardrobe. Currently taking a watermelon snack break, one of my favorite fruits for the summer. Let me know what your favorite summer fruit is in the comments. All right, you guys, I'm gonna need this to be a no judgment zone. Oh my God, this hair. <laughs> um, this morning, because my face is very orange, I use that same L'Oreal Subline Bronze and I didn't really think it through because I'm gonna self tan tonight. Um, but I had to scrub off my leftover tan on my body in order to do that. But then I tanned my face and then I also put a zit sticker on. I'm just like full of bad choices at the moment, so don't mind my face, but I'm kind of making myself breakfast so I can go to a nail appointment. I so rarely get my nails done. I haven't in probably the past like three years or something, and especially not last year. And then when I was in Kelowna, I got my nails done, like just regular gel. I mean, they're chipping now. I show you that hand because there's nothing left on this one. And I'm gonna get um, a bio gel, which is like a harder gel and it lasts way, way longer. And I am going to the same place I always go or I used to always go. And I'm really excited to get them done. Good thing I'm gonna be wearing a mask so I can cover most of this. All right, it's super sunny, but here is the before of my nails. And I'll show you what they look like after. All right, and here are the finished nails. They look so good. She did such a great job. She took so much time to do them, which I do appreciate. I'm very sleepy and I have to pee, but they are really great. And I love the length. I can't believe my natural nails can actually be this long. So I'm very curious to see how long this lasts. Typically it lasts like, I don't know, two weeks to a month. So hopefully it lasts me a long time. But yeah, the color is really nice. I feel like this tan is developing in all of the wrong areas. And like I said, I have to pee. So I'm going to go home now. Oh, P.S. I never told you where I get my nails done. I go to Varnish. It's in Yale Town, And I highly recommend them for manicures. I got BioColor. And their pedicures are great too. Everyone's so lovely there. It is many days later. It is now currently Monday. And I know I didn't get that much footage from last week. But I just want to tie up this vlog and start fresh filming this week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Because it really helps and supports my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.